Hey everybody, well today's video is my current favorites video, plus I have something really special to share with you at the end of the video concerning an upcoming giveaway and a current discount code that will be available for one of the favorites that I'm going to share with you today. So starting off with my lips, you guys know that I went and purchased the Edward Best lip liner that I absolutely adore. I have it on today. And I also mentioned that I couldn't believe that I didn't try out one of his lipsticks and glosses, so of course I made sure that I fixed that. And they are definitely in my current favorites. The first is the lipstick, which is in the color of Pure Impulse. And this is just a glorious, glorious nude color. It's got pink undertones to it, but it's really, it actually is the true color to my lips. I'm just enjoying this so much, and the quality of the lipsticks is so nice. So I purchased that together with his gloss in the color of Desert Glow. I'll show you the packaging first. And this is a really nice neutral color that will go pretty much over any lip color whatsoever. I am, of course, pairing it today over the nude color with a lip liner, but I really love this. I'll show you what it looks like, but I don't think that's going to show up too well. But I do have it on, and it just gives, it's just lovely. It just gives a nice, light shine to your lips. Love the feeling of it, too. For eyes, I've been really loving my Mally Mascara that I got in the QVC test tube this month. It is their Volumizing Mascara, and it looks like that. I think this is becoming one of my, oh, I hate to say my holy grail, because then, of course, I find something else, and that becomes my holy grail. But for now, this is really my holy grail mascara. I really like this a lot. Let me show you the brush that comes with it. The only thing that I will say about buying her products, which I have a little bit of an issue with, is the fact that they're most readily available through QVC, and I'm not a big QVC fan. I don't like the fact that they ship things individually and charge shipping for each individual item. But I think I'm going to have to break down if this is the only way that I can get this mascara because I really like it a lot. The next thing that I am crazy about for my eyes, and I'm wearing it today, you know, forever you would hear about the fact that green eyes should stay away from wearing green shadow. And I really did. Not that I didn't use it and play it up with other colors, but I really didn't use it on its own. And I am kicking that theory right to the curb. I love this new quad that I have from Chanel. It's actually number 17. It's khaki uh, discreet show that to you so you can see the packaging. I absolutely love these colors. I guess I keep reaching for them. I know I have so many other shadows to play with, but I keep going to these because I absolutely love them. Now Chanel is now putting two applicators in with their shadows, so I'm going to hold them so they don't fall out so I can first show you the colors. Those are the colors. I have this lighter one on my all over my lid, and I have the darker one in for contouring. Aren't those gorgeous? And so the applicators that come with it is they give you one of the normal, the little uh, foam ones, which you guys have seen what I do with these before. Absolutely hate them. But the other one that they've come out with is this little brush that's actually very cute. And I think for traveling would probably work really well. So I really like that. But the shadow itself, I am just mad about these colors. Just love it. For hair, I've been using a product that I've actually had for a long time and I haven't been using it. I'm not really sure why. I think it's because you have to be fairly careful with it. It's from Alterna. It's the Caviar Anti-Aging Rapid Repair Spray. And it looks like this. And this is really good if you're having problems with your hair being dry. You have to be sort of careful with this. What they recommend is that you use this on dry hair and that you put it on, just very lightly mist it on, and then immediately take your blow dryer and blow dry your hair again to get it to dry, because otherwise it can get a little bit greasy looking. But what I do with it is I spray it on before I blow dry my hair, and I just think it's amazing. I think my hair is just really soft from it, really silky looking. So. I would use it that way, definitely would recommend using it that way, and I really have been enjoying it this month. For foundations, there are two that I've liked this month. Now this is interesting because one of them is really what I purchased to use more in the summer, but I have been using it for days that I don't want to use as much foundation. It's from SkinCeuticals. It's their Physical Fusion Eufy Defense. Say that three times fast. And it has an SPF of 50. Now this is one of the sunscreens that has, it's a tinted sunscreen, and supposedly it should be able to work with most skin tones. I'm not really sure how that works. It does work with my skin tone. I really like it. It takes a little bit of the red out, and of course gives me great coverage with an SPF 50. So for light days, I've really been enjoying that. The other foundation that I'm really loving is from Chantecaille. It's their new stick in vanilla, and the packaging looks like that. 
and this basically looks like a, just a big concealer stick. So I use this two ways. When my face is really well moisturized, I'll go in and actually draw it on and then work it in with a brush. The other way that I use it is how I was shown to do it by a sales associate in Neiman's, is to take my Pure Rose Water from Chantecai, which is also one of my favorites, so I'll quickly show that to you now, and spray that in the back of my hand, and then take the stick, and actually work it into the moisture from the rose water, take my brush and apply it. So that gives a much sheerer application, plus it makes it more of like a liquid type of application. So that's how I use it. And I really like it. It's actually great for traveling if you have, you know, with the restrictions for liquids that we have in traveling these days on the airlines. For brushes this month, there are two that I've been using a lot. One that I just showed you is the Hourglass Number no. 2, which I said to you is a blush brush. I don't use it for that. I really like it for a lot of my liquid applications, and I love the way that it cleans, of course, because it's a synthetic brush. What I do first is I take my rose water and I spray the head down with it and then whichever foundation I'm using I'll dip it into the foundation and then use it on my face. I'm really loving it for that. And the next brush that I really like was thanks to my friend Nancy, Coco Pink 44. And as you guys know, how could you not know, I've been talking about it for probably two months now, Chanel is changing over their brush line and they're discontinuing a lot of the brushes that they have. So she asked if I could locate one of the number 12s for it, which I did. And of course, while I was looking at it, I... You guys know what's coming, right? I went, of course, and bought myself one also. Believe it or not, I didn't have it, which I'm not really sure why I didn't. And this is it. It's the, again, it's the number 12. And this is a phenomenal blending brush. Now I have the cover on it, so I'm going to pull it down so that you guys can see the head of it. I'm going to show it to you in comparison to my um, S142 from Hakuhodo. So you can see they're very similar shapes. I think that the Chanel is a little denser. It's definitely as soft as the Hakuhodo, although the Hakuhodo might be just a little bit softer. But definitely a very similar brush, and I really like it. I think there's still some available, so you should definitely check it out. I'm really enjoying this brush. Blush, now I'm going to try to pronounce this correctly. I think it's Jouy. It's J-O-U-E-R. French name, which you guys know I have a terrible time with. Absolutely enjoying this line. I have been using this blush just about every day. Now, I'm not really that familiar with all of the line of the company. I just happened to see a few reviews on this, and I purchased it. But as you can see on the sides over here, the way that these containers are made is that you can take other products from their line and hook them together. I just have this one. It's in the color of Blossom. Isn't that gorgeous? Let me see if this will show up for you guys. It's so sheer. It works in so beautifully. It's so soft. Have it on today, of course, because I've been really wearing it absolutely every day. Just love the look of this blush. One of my favorites. So the last thing that I want to share with you for my favorites for this month is actually a hair dryer. Now I was contacted by a company called New Me and they actually contacted me to try out one of their curling irons. And as you guys know, I don't use any kind of heat products like that on my hair, so I told them thank you very much, but I don't use them. So they then asked me if I would review their hair dryer. It's their, let me show you the box I have right here before I actually show you the hair dryer. It's the New Me Ionic Blow Dryer. This is just amazing. First of all, I got to pick out whatever color I wanted, and I picked out this glorious pink and black, which is just phenomenal. Now, I don't want to do a review today because I really want to give this the proper time and do a full review because I'm really loving this hair dryer. But what I want to tell you today is that the company has just made available for me an amazing discount code to offer to you guys for this hair dryer. I'm going to put it in the down bar down below, and they're not even allowing me to tell you what it is because it's that phenomenal. They want you guys to go to the link provided down below and sign in, and then you'll see what it is. And trust me, you are definitely going to be impressed with what a phenomenal discount code it is. But that's not all they're doing. When I put up my review, hopefully I'm going to be able to do this in the next week or two, they are going to provide one of these hair dryers for me to give out as a giveaway to one of my subbies. Is that amazing? Again, I don't want to get into a full review, but I absolutely love it. Love how quickly I can dry my hair. Love how silky my hair looks after I've used it. Love holding it in my hand. Okay, that's getting into review, so I'm going to stop it here. So definitely check the link out down below so you can see what the discount code is. And definitely keep watching for the next week or so when I will get the full review up along with the giveaway. So that's it, everyone. Those are my current favorites. I probably could have done about 20 more. I have so many things that I've been enjoying. I think it's because I'm in my new room, and I really have access to a lot of the products that I didn't when I had it in the smaller space. So there are a lot of things that I've really been enjoying. 
so I'll probably get back on here and do another current favorites, getting together a few more things that I've really been liking. So I hope everybody's having a great week. Take care. Speak to you soon.